Hello and welcome back to Octosox Gaming. I'm your buddy Octosox, and uh, we just went ahead and went to the shrine. Last time we were together, we uh, we activated that spire, and that caused all the other ones to activate. I'm Sue's being a little quiet. She was she's being a little loud right now. She was waiting till uh, I started talking to start moving around. She was all nice and asleep in her bed, but you know she's got to be the center of attention. She's She's a sweet little puppy. She's actually about four years old and 70 pounds, but close enough. So right now, we're actually getting an update to our Sheikah Slate called Magnesis. And uh, this allows you to grab metal objects and manipulate them, which is only, uh, which you're only able to do in this game because it runs on a physics engine. Which is really cool. Um, here, I'll show you. So you just wait till uh, anything you can pick up is going to show up as yellow. Um, well, to activate it anyway. Um, anything you can pick up will be a bright red, and anything you can reach with your magnesis will be a bright yellow. So um, let's see here. We're going to go up here, see what other things we can find. So we got that little guy there. Let's pick him up. We can lift him out of here. We can actually just knock all these things around. Sick of these blocks, just you know what? Just fuck it. Just destroy everything. So here we have a new enemy that we haven't seen yet. This is a guardian scout. These guys can uh as low level as we are, they can, uh, we're as less equipped, because there isn't really levels in this. As, uh, poorly equipped as we are, they can, uh, if they're, if they're any more equipped, they can, uh, they can take us out, so. Cool thing about every single one of these shrines is that, uh, they all have at least one treasure chest for you to find and collect. And usually it's shoot usually it's some sort of weapon um, that's harder to find out in the overworld so we're gonna see what we have to do to get this um, we may have to come back we'll see I actually haven't gotten this one since this is the first one in here, I'm not as familiar so Every treasure chest should be available with what you have in the game here. So, you know what? I'm being dumb. That treasure chest is metal, so you can just grab it. I was making it way harder than it needed to be. So cool, we got ourselves a treasure chest. I accidentally closed the door, but that's okay. Let's see what we got in here. A traveler's bow. I think we already have one of those. Get this out of here. And open this up. And we're gonna go talk to this mummy. Sue, so why are you licking? Why are you being so... Why are you licking the wheel of my chair? She's a weird dog. I guess she learns after me, so... You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am over her now, the creator of this trial. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of goddess Hylia and a dedicate- oh shit. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. No. I'm sorry, I kind of slapped my dog. She was biting my- <laughs> She's a she's a little she's a little special. Um, I guess if you want to hear something about her, she was a rescue dog. Um, she was part of a breeding operation. That really didn't take too much care of uh, their dogs. I'll I'll be sure to show her at least once during this playthrough. It's just not very conducive right now. But um, she wasn't taken very well care of, and uh, I learned of her, and uh, I made a point to. We'll scoop her up as fast as I could, sign the adoption papers, and there we were. It's, uh, the rest is history. So, 
All right, so this guy just gave us a spirit orb, um, which is kind of what the treasure that old man was talking about when uh, he sent us on this task. So let's go. Uh, let's go return it to him. See what he has to say. Oh! Oh! It seems you've managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? <laughs> Clairvoyance, ho ho! Or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. You're being cryptic as fuck, dude. <laughs> but perhaps this is not true for everyone. Oh ho ho! I can make broad statements all day and then discredit them with saying maybe not everyone else can do it. Just like you, old man. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine? Put a pause for dramatic effect. Is connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip. Paragraphy, please! I haven't... <laughs> I have yet to finish speaking, you asshole. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power and wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how someone like that survived all this time hidden away in a shrine. Yeah, I, it's debatable whether or not he was actually alive. His soul may have been uh, trapped in that little cage that was there. Um, but that body was dead. That was a dead body. It was it was a mummy. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and I will give you your paraglider. That wasn't the deal. Ooh. Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. You're an ass. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. Mm. It'll always be best to survey the area by looking from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Got it. Let's, we just need to hurry this along. I'd like to be able to get done with the tutorial in at least three episodes. Gosh. Maybe I'm just bad at this game. Hmm. All right. All right. So it's telling me that the blue icons that are on my map, I can fast travel to, which is really cool. Um, kind of like a sk Skyrim thing, um, you do have to activate each point that you, uh, that uh, you, you use as a fast travel point. So, this is a fast travel point, and you don't have to complete it to activate its waypoint. Um, and you don't have to go in there and get the treasure to activate its waypoint. You just need to press your Sheikah Slate to the pedestal in front of it and open it up, and then you can travel there. Um, and just like the spires there, you can go there. Oh, I'm gonna look at this. Uh, and go to the Great Plateau Tower, and we're gonna travel there. So, anywhere with those little pedestals that you touch your Sheikah Slate to, um, generally you can fast travel to them. So, let's see here. Just keeping an eye on time. If you're in a hurry to climb somewhere, you can scale the wall click quicker by... Okay, I didn't want to read that anyway. How did he get here? How is he so fast? How is he so limber? He's a big old man. Oh ho! I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. How, how did you... Oh, ho, ho, leave an old man his secrets. Now then, I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. Did you know about the scope on your Sheikah Slate? Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you like to mark on the map. Ooh. The pins on your map serve as reference points to your travels. Just pick a pin anywhere you're interested in. <laughs> How do you know? Experience, wisdom, instinct, call it what you will, but believe only if so if you please. I butchered that, sorry. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. All the words were there. So, we're looking for those little things that we just came out of. So, there's one. And 
There's one. And where's the other one? I can't quite remember. I think it's over here somewhere. I know it was some stupid location. And I searched far and wide for it. So we got that one, that one. Um, I feel like there should be one. I know it was visible. So. Like I said, we're going to try and keep this as quick as possible. So there's, there's a lot of stuff to go do over here. Um, he'll teach you about cooking and stuff like that. Um, but I know all that stuff, so I'll show you. And, uh, I guess we're just gonna have to go, uh... I am sorry. That was that thing I was telling you about where, uh, I'm just gonna jump off, so... I apologize, let's, uh... We'll, we might speed this up, so... Maybe not. It doesn't take too long. Continue! I'm sorry I did that. I thought I had the paraglider. Mm. That's like the most fun part of this game, is just flying around. Sue, quit being so noisy! You're ruining the integrity of my show. I love you. Alright. Oh, do I have to... Do all that stuff again? I do. Uh, probably be right back. And we're back. Sorry about that. I, uh, I fell off the, the edge there and it took me a little while to get back. So I found the third one. It's actually a lot closer. So that's probably going to be the first one we go to. Um, if I remember correctly. Um, there's some danger over there. So. I'm not going to jump off this again. Instead, I'm going to... Uh, it'll, it'll probably be faster if I hop down. And hopefully I don't die doing this. I'm going to try. It's riskier than just uh, fast traveling to that shrine we were just at. Boop. Boop. And boop. Alright, we made it. I lost where I was. I'm going over here. Well, what good is it if you don't show me what I just pinned? There it is. Oh, we can see the top of it right there. So, we're not really equipped to take on what's over here. So, we have to use stealth. And, uh, unfortunately our stealth doesn't really... They'll notice us, so we just need to run. So yeah, you'll, uh... Across the game, you'll run into these things. They're cool. You can, uh... You can search them and get things from them. Um, ancient screws and what have you. Let's go see if this guy has anything that we might want. Oh! Oh no! I was awake. So we need to run. Um, these guys will take us out in one hit. So it's best not to mess around with him. I think he lost us. Now let's go! Get your stamina back and climb. Alright. So we're at the Jabaj Shrine. And we're gonna go learn what this is gonna teach us. Um, for this whole part of the island, or island, this uh, basin or plateau or whatever you wanna call it, um, all the uh, all the shrines here give us our upgrades on our Sheikah Slate. Um, there's a couple more that we get to work with and they're all really fun. This next one you'll probably uh, you'll probably remember from uh, Zelda games, but they did some tweaking to it, so it's a lot more manageable and honestly a lot more fun. So it's a weird uh, reflection effect going on behind Link when we walk out and walk into that elevator. So 
Alright, go over to here. And we'll do us some downloading. I think this is a really cool artistic way of of doing this. I mean, this is ancient technology. And this is how, like, we have our silicon chips and uh, stuff like that to store information. They have uh, drippy little blue goo. So, that's cool. So, we have a remote bomb now, which is really cool. Um, there aren't bomb items in this. Sue, be quiet, please. There aren't, uh... Bombs aren't an item in this game, is what I'm trying to say here. Um... So we equip this, and it's, well, sorry, easy as that. Yeah, that's where I wanted it to go, right, right there. So the remote activated, so um, you can throw it and you can leave it, and it'll never, uh... hey, one moment. All right, I'm sorry about that. Uh, Sue's, Sue's getting a little impatient, so after this episode's done, I'm probably going to spend some time with her and... Let her know I still love her and everything. So. Um, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, you can uh, drop bombs, leave them, and blow them up later. And what's really cool is they have uh, two different forms. They have the regular round bomb that rolls, and then they have a square bomb that doesn't roll. Which really is, uh, which really co is really cool because there's a lot of uh, terrain and stuff. The engine is physics-based. So, <laughs> she is not letting me record a good show. I'm sorry. I'll just have to bring her up sometime so you guys can see how cute she is. And, uh, every time you hear her pitter-patter around, you can picture her and be like, Oh, that is pretty cute. So, um, controls are a little weird with the bomb. There's three different buttons that you have to push. So... And like I said, every uh, every shrine has a new treasure chest. We got a traveler's claymore, which could help us beat those uh, those spoopy uh, robots outside called guardians. Um, we'll learn about them later. Uh, so this is what it wants me to do here. Um, this is a little bit of a slower approach. I should have been paying more attention. Thank you, Sue, for setting me down, by the way. Now that I acknowledge her, she's gonna go crazy. But, uh... But yeah, all of these shrines have their own cool little puzzles. Like this. Another physics-based puzzle. And it's really cool. So you got this tube here, and nothing's telling you what you need to do. That's also really cool. You have only yourself to thank for essentially completing this. So you got a tube there, so that'd be perfect for a round bomb. It goes over there. You watch it uh, shoot off, and you blow it up. It's uh, it's cool. It's fun. It's everything you want in a Zelda game. So. Let's do it one more time, and then we're gonna go over here and play around with one. Cause see, it, it show it does show you what's going on here, but in you could have totally missed that. There's nothing telling you to look over there to see what's going on. So we got another trip chest here. You can see what we got. It's an amber. Um, see, this game is so expansive. I haven't used an ember or an amber. Um, short of just selling it. It says it has uh, fire properties. The opal has water or ice properties. Um, I'm guessing you can augment weapons and uh, armor. So that's really cool. I'm not going to continue reading what these guys say because they all say the same thing. There isn't one that says anything different that I've found. So we'll just go ahead and skip what he says. He gives us a spirit orb. Um, we have two of them so far. There's two more for us to get, and then we can essentially leave the uh, leave the plateau. Um, 
since I did have a couple interruptions there, we'll we'll go a little bit longer here, uh, trying to keep good time. Around 20, 25 minutes. It's a big game, so we'll just uh, we'll get a head start on going to uh, going to that other place. Oh, so it's night. So they brought the stall trials back essentially. Um, these are just uh, the cobbling bones that are reanimated. Yeah, we can take that. It's a it's a decent weapon for where we're at right now. And it's good to collect these uh, fangs and horns early on because you use them to... Nice. Because you use them to upgrade your stuff. So... Put a bomb here. We'll place it. We'll run away because these things will hurt you. Um, I think he is awake. Oh, this guy is awake. He doesn't like us. We're gonna keep running. Keep running. Not die. I'm out of breath. Get over here. Get over here so I can kill you. I'm watch a shot. So, um, another thing about those guys is they will stay alive until you uh, destroy the head. Um, if there's more than one around, they will all stay alive until all of the heads are dead. Yeah, I know you're looking at me. So. There's that. Oh, and it shows a... A little, uh, blinking icon for Guardians. That's something I never noticed. See, there's always something to learn in this game. Are you still locking on to me? Jesus. So. And like we went over, that's Temple of Time. There's just... Lots of really cool things in this game. Um, eventually, we will have to get uh, some peppers. So we can go up into the cold. I know you can get a, uh, a sweater schmock. But that's a little out of our way right now. Um, essentially, uh, the old man has a diary in his cabin and stuff. And in his diary, he talks about a dish he was preparing. And... Uh, he was looking for an extra ingredient or something, and if you find that ingredient, it's Hylian Bass, by the way, um, and cook that meal for him. I guess he gives you a smock. I, I looked it up. I missed it on my first playthrough. Um, we've got a bit of a battle. We're going to go ahead and do it. we got some time, so. Got him. Uh, critical hits are a thing. Aim for the head. Just like everything else you do. And perfect. They are all asleep. So, we can just sneak up on them. And... Here, I gotta be quiet because we're sneaking up on them. Shoot! <laughs> no! No, don't grab those! Don't, don't grab those! Um, here, we'll use the Bacoblin arm. Get wrecked! Oh, he about to smack me. I got him. I got him good. So. Alright, well, we'll, uh, we'll see what's in this treasure chest, and we're actually gonna cut the episode there. So we, uh, we did quite a bit. We went to the shrine, we completed it. Two shrines, actually, and completed them. And, uh, no sense in beating a dead horse. Actually, if I know anything about Zelda, there's something back here, so. And I hate keeping you guys waiting. So let's see what's back here. Look at that. There's another treasure chest that we could have missed. Bomb arrows. That's awesome. I wouldn't have imagined getting bomb arrows this early in the game. We got some stamella shrooms and some coarser bee honey, which uh, gives you buffs on uh, on food. So that's really cool. So we're gonna leave it here. I'm gonna pick up all these things. Um, you don't need to watch me do that. And uh, this is Doctor Socks again with uh, Photoelectric Recreational Network. Um, 
yeah, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. Uh, let me know how I'm doing, and uh, let me know what you want to see. So, cool. Thank you. Bye.